Hello, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. We're upstairs in our uh, classroom training facility. I've got my Bob set up behind me. Uh, we just did a video on the $40 holster. And um, if you haven't seen it, I definitely want you to watch it because this is a great value and it's a great holster. I've actually got one on right here. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. But really, this video is going to be about um, our magazine pouch. It's a vertical magazine pouch that we call our perfect magazine pouch. And the reason I call it perfect magazine pouch is because it's simple, it's inexpensive, and it's perfect. I mean, it really works great. So uh, that being said, here's a, uh, I've got a Glock 19 magazine. You'll notice a couple things. It's going to go in. See the little dent right there? It's actually going to capture itself right there on the, um, uh, the cutout on the magazine that intersects with the magazine release button. You'll hear it snap in. Okay, that means it's not coming out by itself, which is really good. You'll notice also on the back, we've got a pretty heavy duty clip which is really cool because it's easy to put on and put off. So I can pop it on like so, just kind of, and it's going to hook onto the bottom of my belt, which is also very important. Uh, I like it because it's vertical. It's easy to conceal. And I'll watch that. Done. <laughs> I mean, concealed. Uh, over here on this side, I've got my cell phone. Same clip, by the way. Uh, you know, basically, there it is. Cell phone pouch, I call it. We'd sell these as well, just in case you're interested. <laughs> get a lot of people who, who like that. So we start selling them. Uh, and then, you know, again, I'm concealed. So what have I got? I've got a Glock 19 with 15 rounds of ammo, and I've got a spare magazine pouch with 15 rounds of ammo. Ready to rock and roll, right? Uh, let's go ahead and talk about how we want to do our, our, our draw and our reload. Uh, of course, I'm using my laser trainer gun here today. Uh, there's no ammunition in this room. I suggest you do the same exact thing. Whenever you practice, dry fire practice, concealed carry practice, and it's important that you do practice before you go out into the real world, that you dry fire practice and you become proficient, efficient, and safe with the use of these tools. Whenever you do so, in your home, make sure there's no ammo in the same room. All right, These magazines are dry, and they're dry for a reason. Now, I know that this gun can't even shoot real, gun, or real bullets because it's got a laser module in it. But the bottom line is, I want to make sure that you at home are safe, and the only way to ensure that is that you have no ammunition in the same room when you're doing your dry fire practice. That said... Let's move on now. So this is my laser trainer. Every time I pull the trigger, it spits out a laser beam. Gives me a positive reinforcement that I'm actually hitting the target. And we'll do that in a little bit here. But what I want to do right now is talk about this tactical reload with our perfect magazine pouch, which is manufactured by Undertaker Undercover. The purpose of a tactical reload is to retain the magazine. Now, I shoot a lot of competition, been around competition for a long time, 30 years plus. In the competition world, you go to reload, and they just drop the magazine, let it fly, and run on and go, and keep on going and go. Well, in the real world, you're not going to go ahead and want to lose that magazine, because you may never see it again, and you may never be able to get back and, and get to it. So there's a technique that uh, I've developed that will help you uh, manage your magazines on a tactical reload. Let me take a side note real quick. When Glock, Gaston Glock, first invented the, uh, the Glock, he actually had a magazine that did not drop freely. It was not metal lined. So when you loaded it up, or even didn't load it up sometimes, it would not drop reliably out. It would drop about halfway like that and stick there. And a lot of people in America said, well, what's wrong with those magazines? They don't drop free. But in reality, what he was doing is he built this gun for war, for you know, actual combat. And when you're in combat, you don't want to lose your magazines. So he built it so that the magazine would come out halfway, stop, you would then extract it, and then insert another magazine. But all the competition shooters in America complained and said, oh my gosh, you know, the Glock can't be used because it doesn't have a free, for, uh, free drop uh, magazine. So uh, they uh, went ahead and re-engineered and put a metal liner into the magazines, which makes it rigid, which allows it to drop free. You notice we have our extended uh, aluminum base plates on here to help us not only seat the magazine, but also give it something to drop out freely. All that said, now let's go ahead and talk about this concept of the tactical reload.
So the tactical reload means you want to manage, maintain control of your magazines. So how do you do that? Well, I've got my spare carried right here. It's concealed. I've got my gun concealed here. Up comes the draw. Now, when you draw, always want to clear the clothes completely. Don't want to do a half stroke and try to get on the gun because I've got a lot of fabric in there and that's not going to be good. So the goal is to come up with a technique where you come up all the way, almost grossly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grossly exaggerating up, back on the gun. Here comes the draw. Do my business. Now here, watch the tactical reload. Come here. Before I come down here, that's my competition world, I want to manage the magazine. So I'm here. Boom. Manage the magazine. Now watch what is happening here. I'm managing it with these fingers. Why am I grabbing it like this versus like this? Because like this, I've got control of my thumb now and I can do something else. And what is that something else? Come down here, grab this, and go. So let's do that again. From concealment there. And I guess I can do the one over here as well. Remember, we're grabbing it right here, okay? That's what we want to remember. Up, draw, there's my drag, come down, reload, and come back on target. Now, a little sloppy there, this gun kind of fell, I really want to keep it pointed down range. Right here, I want to, not all the way out here, I want to bring it back to my face a little bit so I can make the reload easier. Let's do that one more time, a little bit better technique. Okay. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. The main thing is, I want you to learn to manage the magazine like so. Because as we come up, we can pop it back in and go. Again, we want to keep those fingers loose. You can still shoot when you're up here. Remember, I've got a pretty good grip on it. Look at my palm right here. I'm placing it right where it wants to go. I'm right here. The only thing I'm really missing is that grip, but I've got a good grip on that with that other finger. So I've got a pretty good control of the handgun. As I get some freedom, I can put that magazine back in my pocket. So, it takes practice, and I'm going to encourage you to practice because without practice, you will never get good. But you can do this pretty easily just by staying at home, learning how to manage your magazines one at a time, get back up, and get back on target. Okay? It's um, not really difficult. Just a little bit of thought process to make sure that you, when you grab that magazine, it is in those fingers. So one more time. Here we are. Boom. Here. Come down. So this is our perfect magazine pouch. If you don't have one, I bet you want one now. Thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego. If you're ever in San Diego, California, drop down and see us. Come down and shoot in our range, train with us, and we'll make you a better shooter. Thanks for watching.